Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd down here at A1 RV today. This is where we sell RVs on behalf of their owners on consignment. Think of it like real estate, except all the houses are parked in one spot, and then you get to tow the house away when we're done. Uh, today, we have a 6,210 pound Rear Living Freedom Express, one owner that we actually sold to him uh, a couple years ago. Uh, brand new tires in 2019. It's got uh, some very cosmetic skirt damage on the uh, opposite side that we'll see when we go through our full RV tour. But overall, I think it's going to make a real sharp, uh, uh, sharp option if you're like getting rid of the family bunkhouse, you want a nice lightweight half-ton towable couples camper, this would be a solid option here. It also has surprisingly good like sleeping space for what would normally be considered a couples camper. Overall, I'm pretty happy with what I see here. And overall, it's like, it's a very traditional layout. You've got, you know, lots of windows, rear recliners, super slide. Campers have existed like this since really the dawn of super slides, and they will probably continue to exist like this, and for good reason. It's an awesome, awesome amount of space in here. If you're more focused on more open living space, this is going to be a good one, because not only do you have a super slide and tons of windows, you've also got a six foot nine ceiling, which is something I've always really liked on the Freedom Expresses. And they're not the only ones that do it, but in the world of laminated lighter weight trailers, they are very uncommon in that they do that. Most lightweights are, are shorter sidewall, like six and a half foot, and maybe have a vaulted ceiling. But a taller sidewall means taller slides, taller shower, taller cabinets. It's, it's a big deal, and it's something that I look for. And that's the other thing I like about these. When I look at this as a person who goes camping myself, I can see it was really designed and thought out by someone in themselves who goes camping. It's executed very, very nicely. So starting right back here by the door, you can see we got just windows galore all over the place, a pair of swivel rocking chairs, little side stand on the other side, and you're wondering why is it not quite symmetrical? Well, things like, your, I believe your uh, power cord and that kind of stuff is located under that little side table right there. And frankly, it is kind of nice to have that little bigger side table as a person who I always like to have a drink within arm's reach. Eh, I think that's kind of cool. Cabinetry is all pocket screwed. Panels are the doors are raised panel with a hardwood insert and hardwood door frame. All of our air vents can be turned and closed individually. Um, that makes me think that the little chirpy smoke detector has been pulled down and now that i'm looking around i don't see a smoke detector in here so looks like maybe the smoke detector was removed maybe they just pulled it down for travel not sure on that one i just kind of like wait a minute why is there a couple screws up in here oh yeah the uh sofa over here neat little conversation corner sitting right next to this recliner but what is also kind of cool you can see that folds open into a large sleeper sofa now not only that but like over here you see this uh, dining table. Well, that also folds down into a large sleeper, which is what's one of the things I always really liked about this model and I think was often overlooked, is that it's a couple's camper, first and foremost, but it can comfortably sleep four adults and maybe four adults and like six kids. Or, I'm sorry, two adults and, and four kids, six total. Sorry, I'm getting numbers jumbled up here. You get the idea. Did you also notice the easy access storage below the dinette? Like you had that one full extension uh, drawer. You have a door on the side closest to us. But down below here, there's also sliding access panel to the rear dinette bench so that you don't got to tear the whole thing apart to get to it. Now we've got good breeze windows all through that super slide, but there's even a little skylight uh, for extra light above. And it does have a shade to pull down if you don't want to feel like an ant under a magnifying glass, you know. Um, the uh, cool thing about something like that is it just really opens it up in here. And again, I mean, just, it just really lightens and brightens it. That's something I always enjoy. That TV's on a pivot mount, by the way, if you want to be able to swing that around, you can. Bluetooth DVD player. Um, as we uh, work our way around, I believe that is the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner. I'll have to double check my old specs if I can locate them because we did sell this several years ago. See if I can, you know, reference my original information. One thing I do want to point out before we get too far past the kitchen area, though, is if you notice the solid surface countertop, this is part of the Liberty Edition Freedom Expresses, the upgraded version, by the way. Look at how much space is behind that oven. These have an extra deep countertop 
and that is a, uh, a very easily overlooked quality. It means more prep space, more appliance space. Now, if we uh, start up top here and crack that open, you'll actually see like there's some bags and some you know papers in there. What are those things? Well, that is all the original like owners' manuals and stuff like that. The folks had them all uh, you know stuck in the RV with them, so they could always be able to reference things, which I think is a uh, you know good indicator of something there. Uh, I think we've pretty much cracked the living room. I don't want to forget to mention, but you got to see the pantry next to the fridge. That's an excellent feature. This is a walk-through bathroom. Now, walk-through bathrooms are great for a couple reasons. Walk-through bathrooms give us the ability to fully access this RV with the super slide closed. You don't have to open the slide to navigate the entire camper. Very handy for storage and travel stops. The other thing is they keep the RV shorter and lighter. Now, they also add more storage than a walk-around bathroom can really have because instead of a hallway, we can install a closet right here. Well, not we install, but obviously the manufacturer does. You get the idea. Porcelain foot flush stool there, by the way. And by the way, no heat vents in the floors of Freedom Expresses. They've been doing that for a long time. Um, the only hiccup with a walk-through bathroom is if someone is in the bathroom and like you're in the bedroom or you want to get to the bedroom, you have to kind of use the outside access door. But what is nice is it does have a direct entry door right here from the outside so it's it's always there when you need it full overhead cabinet storage and that is a true queen bed a 60 by 80 true queen by the way and you do have a sliding pocket privacy door here one more thing i want to point out before we do hop outside is over here obviously tv hookups but this thing i miss this thing i always liked it this little door pops down i can get my hands on it and there's tons of outlets in here and little plug runner holes so that if you want to have a like sweet phone charging station or even tablet charging station right there that's a super super useful thing back outside here at our pass-through compartment i see where they bought like an extra wheel but i don't see a tire it's still like new in the packaging i i guess maybe they had plans to have another extra spare tire i'm not sure because the original factory spare tire is right here it's never touched the ground so, I don't know. Maybe they just saw a deal that they couldn't pass up. Sometimes I do that. I'm like, I don't even need it. Just buy it. Uh, portable picnic table included right in the pass-through compartment here, which is good that it's portable. It'd be hard to put a permanent table in a mobile position. Now, you see that little compartment door, that little access panel? This RV has four-corner power stabilizer jacks, power awning, power tongue jacks. So, everything is push-button easy. And that is where you will uh, operate the front corner stabilizer jacks. That is different from an auto leveling system. I want you to really understand the differences there. What this thing's job is designed to do is you level it normally, then you just push the button to get the stabilizer jacks down. It takes the wiggle out of the uh, campsite. That's it. Now, this is, again, a Liberty Edition Freedom Express, which gives it that just gorgeous full front nose cap. Uh, power tongue jack on the front that I mentioned, but that'll help you when you're getting hitched up to your uh, weight distribution system. The uh, couple cool things here, the Liberty Edition was one of the, the first generations of mainstream trailers to start including things like the slam latches on the baggage doors, which have become so common that you almost take it for granted. But what is easy to miss actually is up here on this full nose cap, there's actually a layer of diamond shield. It's like this really uh, protective coating or like stick on thing that goes on those nose caps. And effectively that's taking the place of your diamond plate. Now this RV does have an enclosed heated belly. It's made for extended season use. And now that we got a good look at it, I want to get up close here. They uh, unfortunately about two years ago took a corner out of a gas station pump a little tight and you can see where unfortunately the concrete post at the gas pump kind of worked its way down that skirting a little bit. It's not hurting the trailer. You can see, you know, a little scuff because of it, but it's not hurting anything. I'm going to make sure you know it's there. I'm not going to hide any sort of damage, whether it's cosmetic or not, because what I think does or doesn't matter may not be what you think does or doesn't matter. And it's your money buying this thing, so it is your opinion at the end of the day that matters most. Uh, the tires were all put on in 2019, so the tires are virtually new. You can walk all over the roof of this thing if need be. We've got um, Asdell backed uh, aluminum sidewalls. Freedom Express is really like the original mainstream user of Asdell in the towable RV industry. I cannot believe I haven't mentioned that sooner. It's just, it's such, uh, I'm so used to Asdell being associated with Freedom Express in the new RV market that sometimes I forget that not everybody has spent their last 12 years of their life doing this. So if you don't know what Asdell is, it's a lighter weight material in sidewalls. 
It's a wood substitute used right below the fiberglass skin that uh, helps keep the weight on this RV down. Despite the fact that it's taller inside, you notice it's not heavier overall. Still nicely half ton towable. And another thing that's helping us there, ah, that's where that wheel went. They did have to swap a tire, but they that must be when they uh, swapped out all four of the tires. I don't know how I missed the mismatch on the wheels before, but the original wheel is present, so if it needed to get swapped over, eh, that ain't hard to do. But the wide stance stability axles here right below those TV hookups, what that's doing for us is it when the, the axles are spread further apart, imagine if you stand with your feet close together then spread your feet far apart. You're more stable when your feet are spread apart. It's not exactly like that, but it gives you a close enough idea. You're like, oh, okay, I get that. And this was an optional thing that uh, was available for a number of years on these Freedom Expresses as the outdoor slide out little drawer style Coleman camp grill. So this doesn't plug into the RV. The RV does not have a gas grill quick connect. Instead, uh, you can get those like one pound propane bottles and it doesn't look like that was used a whole heck of a lot. So there you have her, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, she's got a couple bumps and bruises, but like you can see how the outside's clean. It was used. It wasn't beat up. It was just used a lot. And it, it's funny, when we get an RV in that hasn't been used a lot, people criticize that it hasn't been used. When we see an RV that actually has been used, sometimes you criticize that it's got a couple blemishes here and there, but overall, I mean, structurally, I don't, they didn't, uh, you know, they, they kept on top of their maintenance, it hasn't been leaking, things like that. And a couple scuffs here and there, as <laughs> maybe a little character, but also it does help you on the values a little bit. So that ain't all bad either. This doesn't bother me. I'd, I'd be happy with something like this. Freedom Express is a brand I am personally sweet on. It is absolutely a nerd preferred series of campers. It's, I, I got a thing for them. I like them. I personally like them a lot. Looks good to you. Give us a call. Whether you need hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, everything between, we do it all. Let's take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone.